What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Crossplay episode 78. I'm one of your hosts, Ignaz Rojas, alongside Alan Busby. Alan, how are you? Hey, hey, Ignacio. That's not Gino. That's Ignacio. Who's Gino? That's true. Who I don't know. I yeah, haven't I don't. followed him. Yeah. Good, as you should. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and that other voice that you hear is the one, Kyle Springer. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How are you all? It is pouring rain. It is pouring rain. It's raining it is everywhere. It's also pouring right rain over here. Wow. So everyone's got the. This is just going to be a dreary Saturday. We're just. We're Rainy just here to episode, relax, boys. Man. We're just here to relax, boys. So coming up on today's show, rumors, rumors, rumors. Is Dead Space, Dead, Dead Space coming back? Is Ghost of Tsushima getting an expansion? Also, it seems like even PSX could be making a comeback real soon. There you go. Some interesting stuff we have here. This is very interesting. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's an interesting week because it's, it's been a slow news week. And yeah. It's mostly rumors, the three, but they're yeah, interesting the stuff. Three. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's I, I, interesting. I stuff know, a, I know a rumor I want to be true. I know a one I want to be true. But we'll have to wait for your answer because right now we're going into what we've been playing, guys. Oh boy. Well, I mean, I don't. I mean, I guess I'll. Alan, since yeah, you're I, already speaking, I, I, you know, I'm already speaking. It. I guess I'll step up to the plate first. I don't know if there was a jingle there. Play that jingle. Yeah. The jingle. What? It's okay. It's okay. So, um, it turns out the uh, the games <laughs> I've been playing actually, um, good transition there. Um, I have not been playing a whole lot. I've been trying to. Yeah, it's like weird video game funk where like I want to play games, but I can't seem to muster my my enough strength to actually play any video games, as funny as that sounds. So Turns I'm out right that trying to platinum every game does that. But it's you. not even because yeah. I just, for some reason, I just, I think it's because yeah, of our for journey. For some reason, did it have to do with you trying to platinum a game that you really didn't like? No, no, I'm actually having, I'm actually enjoying Bayonetta a lot that I've been working on, but no, it's just, I think it's because of the funk of like working this week, the dreary weather, mm. the losing power two days a week that I just kind of lose my energy to be like, oh, Cause I'm like, oh, I want to game on only game for like hours and hours, but then I have to like go to sleep for work. The power was out for like several, several hours one day. So then it's like 8 PM when power comes back and I'm just kind of like, oh, I've just kind of been laying around doing nothing. So I'm not feeling it. But outside the video game world, the outside the video game world, boys, I'm trapped. I am. I am in the hole. I need you to get your shovels and help dig me out. Because I'm getting too into my card game. I'm buying oh, no. sleeves and deck packs. I can't. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> like, I, like, I, like, I can't. Like, I can't. <laughs> it's, it's another one. I, to, to, to be honest, though, I, I, I understand the need for that stuff, what? though. As, as a comic book <laughs> nerd, I buy bags and boards and stuff to, like, put all my comics yep. in and make sure yep. they're protected and all, all that stuff. Most of them won't even be worth a, th a thing, but it, you just want to right, preserve it's still it. Just like, yeah, like yeah. I, I want to like if if I have kids one day or something, be like, man, here's all of my comics. Because uh, like, that's what yeah. my dad did for, for yep. me. He was just like, here's all of my comics. And I, and I was like, oh, this is great. I've I, never been into putting sleeves on my cards. It, it's always been so uncomfortable. Whoa. See, I was telling the story. I think I told you. I don't think I told you guys like. I feel like I was born with the destiny of playing some sort of card game because at some point I've been in most card games to the most part. I tried Yu-Gi-Oh for a bit when it came out like I collected when I was really young. Then I had like mm -hmm. I played the like the Digimon digital. Oh my God. Why are the sleeves on those? Like I played Ignite. the only one card has all scratched up. I played no, only one card. Has Whoa. I played the one. Sleeve. Digimon digital card battle game on the PS1 when I was younger. Uh, me and my cousin collected Naruto cards for a while. Then I was into Magic, and now I'm into Digimon. Like, I like. I just feel like if there's a card game, I feel like once I like dip my toes, I'm just. I don't. I'm not like. Oh, let me just like dip my feet in the pool to adjust to the cold. I'm like, oh, I touched the water with, with just my foot. All right, to the diving board. Let's go. We're diving in. 
Hey, the OG. Look, God, look all, at like, how folded sad and they look. Look how sad they look. They look so sad. Ignacio is ho holding up two of his Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and they have like creases and folds and scratches, and they're all like I'm washed gonna, out and I'm stuff gonna like that. They also have I'm gonna screenshot that, that and put that up nice. on the video. Like, just as, I'm gonna hold on that one scene. God, yeah, some that are pretty nice. Some, are, yeah, but like you, Ignacio, you showed us the God cards, and they're they're not looking very godly anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ignacio's like, yeah, this is my Egyptian god cards. They've seen better days. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't I haven't oh, played man. a whole lot of games. Scarlet Nexus came out yesterday at the time of recording this, and I'm just I don't work tomorrow, so I'm just stoked. I took a fatty nap in the middle of the day today, so my 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 booty's gonna be right on this couch, right in the spot behind me on the video. If you see it, if you watch it, this couch. My, these cheeks going to be right in there. Be playing Scarlet Nexus into the evening, probably hopefully into like the 2 a.m. mark. Let's go. There you go. So that's, now, that's me. Question. Yes. Are you into deck building games like Slay the Spire uh, or no, stuff like that? No, I've never. The only card game I've really ever played was the Digimon card battle for PS1 because I'm just such a Digimon stan. Um, I feel like you should start exploring those since you're, you're getting into all these c cards and stuff. Yeah, I was never very good at deck building, though. Like, at least when I played Magic, um, at least when I played Magic, I never really built a deck. I just kind of, like, would find cool decks and I would just kind of vanilla copy them, you know? Yeah. Uh, with Digimon, I'm kind of doing that because, like, I'm buying decks. I'm, like, looking for decks. I, I've gotten, like, two of my friends into it. I've gotten Amy into it. We play a whole bunch. Um... So most decks I've just kind of vanilla copied with like slight alterations. I have one deck that I have been like constantly like restructuring and changing and evolving and playing with it. Like I'm I'm now finally getting to the more deck building aspect of playing card games instead of just, ooh, this one looks cool. Let me just go to my cart, copy, 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 copy. So yeah, it's been fun. But I got gotcha. What man? What a brain overload it takes to like learn things. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Sure, it what takes a, some brain space to learn things. Yeah. Well, Alan, speaking of Digimon. Yeah. Speaking of Digimon, look what I got in the mail. <gasps> oh, but you got the okay, Ignacio. All it's right, like Kyle, we got, Kyle. We got Digimon. Kyle, we got a Tamagotchi looking thing. Kyle, we got a segue really quick. Explorer. Hang on, hang on. Pause, pause, pause. Everything, Ignacio. I started watching the rebooted anime on mm -hmm. Hulu. And and oh, damn it sucks that you had to do watch it in Japanese. And I'm watching it subbed, and I have no problem with it. I I have no issue watching it subbed. My I've the la the la I have a fucking problem where by the end of episode two, Ty and Matt their Digimon fucking become Omnimon at like the end of episode like two or three. Mm -hmm. No, no, there are rules we have to follow. You don't just get Omnimon right away <laughs> like oh. <laughs> So like I was so mad. Maybe they're like, just that good. I was so no, no. I was no. They weren't even they weren't yeah. even their mega forms, Kyle. They weren't even their mega forms that they need to be to become on the man. I was so mad by this one act of treason, Ignacio. I felt so betrayed. <laughs> I that I I, I, I removed that Digimon anime from my list on Hulu, and I okay, haven't that's, watched that's it too since. Much. That's too much. Rage uh, I I I mean I I felt that, but. It, then I, I just uh, made peace with the fact that it is a different anime. Oh, I I'll... they are gonna do things differently, and yeah, they sure got Omega Mon at the beginning. Oh, yeah. But they it, it was a like a special thing. It wasn't something like oh, now we all, always will have him. No, yeah, I just... I, I will probably go back and watch it. But I was so salty in that one moment that I was like, all right, I got, I can't, I can't do this right now. That's but, not... So like the, I, I, it's cool. The Digivice is amazing. I like it. I'm still a bigger fan of the OG season one Digivice. Like, yes, that's that's where it's at right there. That's that's the sexy beast right there. Ignacio holding up the original season one Digivice with an Agumon pixel wow. on it, and it's making my nostalgic heart flutter. Interesting. I I the only thing that I had that was similar to that was that like Pikachu Tama. Tamagotchi thing that was yeah. also like a step counter. It's that thing oh, with yeah. came, it's that thing with came with like silver and stuff where it had like the little walker thing like they would like clip to like your backpack or something. Uh yeah. It is the the original one. Then they remade it for the remake. Oh, I don't know the original one. 
yeah but yeah I, I, I had that in like elementary school at some point and i got super into that uh to the point where i made my dad take it like because oh you were one of those was, was was starting to get b- 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 banned at school and stuff like that and i was yeah. like well i don't want to just leave this thing sitting here all day because my pikachu w- will die so i was like dad you take it you take it to work and you put it in your pocket oh, and you can walk around all day your dad and i think he did and and i was just like oh this is g- g- great and i don't know what you get home you get home from thing. school and you see your dad and you're like dad dad how was Pikachu? Is Pikachu okay? Give me the, give me it back. Pikachu is dead. Yeah, <laughs> Dad's like Kyle. Like, son, what did you P- do? Pikachu is he didn't. He, I forgot to feed him, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I so I I had that thing for a while, and eventually it was just one of those things. It was like I don't want to keep carrying this thing around with me. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I I'm kind of that way with like the Digimon, like uh digivice they have like the similar thing that they brought back i really want it but i don't want to feel like i'm tired of having to bring it everywhere yeah but it's it's not like that it is uh, the way that digivice works is you go through the anime basically yeah you there is a map you choose a location it gives no, but you I mean, okay. like, the, like the square it one is... from like the digimon like game i mean that one not the Oh, the original one, the yeah, one that was yeah, like the, to the, the, the square one that has like the keychain stuff on it. Yeah, yeah, the that one. one. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, it was, yeah. But so, yeah, yeah. This, this, this Digimon just makes makes me so happy. But I have not games, so I, games. I'm sorry, I I have betrayed you. I have let you down. That's all good. Uh, I can go next. Yeah, go for it. Sure. I can do that. Uh, so I finally beat Ratchet and Clank. Uh, uh, that is a good one, Ignacio. I know you've been playing it too. How far have you gotten? Oh, I platinum it. Oh, you I platinum, platinum it. Okay, I, I haven't easy. even very done that. Platinum. So, so I'm, I've heard. I'm the slacker here because I'm just before the final battle. I have to talk to since we're all there. I I have to talk to Captain Quantum, which I assume is like the end of the game. Yeah, uh, you're at real Cirque? close. At huh? Cirque? At Zerky's or at, no, no, uh, like at at uh, at Zerky's bar. Oh yeah, you, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, the game, the I'm, game at, the I am game, at the end. The game yeah. tells you that's the final. Yeah, fight. I like, I'm literally right, right there. Yeah, yeah. Um, the game is real damn good. It is real. Um, damn good. It it is made incredibly well. I think I only had one, like one instance where I saw something clip. Through something. Oh, you lucky boy! Yeah, that's. And you're besides lucky. that, yeah. besides that, nothing. Wow! Like uh, this game worked perfectly, um, and it felt good. It was fun to play. Um, the weapons were g- great to explore. I'm a little bit upset that they didn't have the one that makes the bad guys d- d- dance. And stuff like that, because it's just like that's a wacky fun one. Um, it's got but, the sprinkler uh, this time. It does have the the, the sp- sprinkler and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I I enjoyed it a lot. I did think there was a tiny bit of a difficulty spike uh, for the final bu- 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 boss, um, but I it it wasn't too bad. Um, I I I still ate b- 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 it and stuff like that, but. Uh, yeah, it was good. I, I like this is comfort food, right? Yeah. It's like a good fried chicken and mashed potatoes. You know exactly what to expect. And sure, you can get that stuff from like fast food, right? Like a KFC or something. But this is the comfort food that is like made from scratch. It's homemade. There's care and love in it. And it's just like, oh, this is so good. It was exactly what I wanted, exactly what I ex- expected. And it's just so they take, damn good. They take the lid off the pan and that steam rises and you're just like, you're, and you're, you're just, there's just drool. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Rift Apart, in it. Yeah. Smelling it. So good. Rift Apart does everything right. I don't think it, that means it is a 10 out of 10, but it, like you said, Kyle, it is sure. like comfort food. I, I have, don't have much to say negative about it because again, I think that everything that is set out to be, it did it pretty well as the best it, as it could. Uh, my only problems would be that I think that there there are maybe too many weapons, 
and not enough weapon variety. I think that they start to kind of repeat. Some do the feel very, very similar Some together. Changes here and there, but I think that there are way too many weapons to actually once you get them all to use them all. You will not use them all. You will use just use the ones that are maybe your first wheel, unless you run out of ammo. Yeah, I don't. I never. But really, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. Other than that I I have to say, Kyle, that if clipping was your only problem. Yeah. Damn, you're lucky because yeah. I did have some technical problems. Yep. Uh, even the f during the first level, my first thing that I encountered was that one cutscene at the first level, it just froze. The video itself froze. The audio kept going, but the the video froze. Uh, wow. I could luckily just keep the cutscene, and I don't think I that I missed much. But uh, yeah, that was a very minor one. The other one was I died. And once I came back, it was all black. The game kept going. Weird. I did respond, but it, the There's screen just was a black. black screen. So yeah, so I just had to stand there waiting for people to kill me. Weird, and man. Once I I came back, uh, it all went well. And then the third mm -hmm. one, the third major one that I had, was I died, and uh, I cannot remember if the game froze at some point, but something. Something happened, the game froze at some point when I died, that I had to go out of it, and I had to go to close the game. But as I went to close the game, and the game was closing, it all froze. The wow. closing of the game froze. So I've, I had to hard uh, shut down my, my PS5. I think I've been pretty lucky, because I know, like, Spy or, I was about to say Spy Man, Spider-Man Miles Morales. <laughs> Uh, that also had some problems and stuff too of like freezing consoles and uh, you know don't p put it in suspend mode mm -hmm. or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I never had problems with that stuff. Um, I I did have a, an issue with Spider Man on my second playthrough. Uh, that wow. got pretty bad, but uh, but yeah, for the most part, my PlayStation has worked. Fine. Yeah, my. I mean, I, I'm but, usually so, also there. I I didn't have any problems with Spider-Man. I usually I'm lucky enough that I rarely see any problems with yeah. him. But just with yeah. Rift Apart, I had those three instances, so which I never get in other games. So I, I'm not gonna talk anything else. I'll, I'll add one thing of Rift Apart. I'm with Ignacio, but I didn't have technical issues where where my game would freeze. I had if scripted events not occur. And I I only had three, oh, I only I had hmm. I had clipping like you Kyle but I had it like I had it like a few times where like I would notice it but people watching me or streaming would notice and be like oh hey that thing clipped in okay I didn't notice it my three instances I won't tell all of them but they're all the same so when you go back to Savali so I guess minor spoilers me spoilers when you go to Savali that second time when it's under attack right you know how there's that ship on the outside where that has the shield and those bone enemies show for the first time. Yeah. All yeah. my instances were this. I kill those enemies, and all the fighting is done, and I'm like, where do I go? And Ratchet's like, oh, there's a portal on the other side of through that barrier. We should we could use that to get in. But there's no way for me to get through the barrier. Like, there's no way for me to get through it or anything. I can't do anything, mm. and nothing happens. So I every time I have to reload the checkpoint, and then I reload the checkpoint, I had to redo the battle, and then the scripted thing would happen that would allow me to progress. And I've, I had that on Sargasso. I had that on the place where you go with Rivet where you get the phase courts. And then I had yeah. it on the second Savali visit where scripted events would not trigger and I had to reload the area to have it happen. Those are my technical difficulties. So not as bad as Ignacio's, but still. All that said, though, this game is still like technically made yeah. incredibly yes. well. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. so good. Yeah. Yeah. Also, super fast. It, I think that it, it does use the SSD pretty well. Mm -hmm. I was expecting that maybe they wouldn't use the Rift that much, but I think that they used it plenty and well, used them pretty well, and that it did showcase very well how fast the game would load. Yeah. Because that was the other technical issue that I had, it was that I was in the map where you have those crystals that uh, go make you go between dimensions, mm -hmm. and so I was already ending the mission i was getting out of it i hit the crystal and then the where you end up is this outside place but there was no platforms <laughs> it was kind of like i was floating in the sky there was no platforms yeah. i they 
So. The collision was still there. I could still walk on them, but they just didn't appear. Weird. But so, it, again, that that goes that what it, where I'm going is that that goes to show you that the game is how, loading how all of that, it, yeah. yeah, super fast. Well, yeah. Rift Apart is awesome, but Kyle, you played another game that I don't recognize. What's this one? Toem. Toem. Um, this game is not out yet, but there is a demo for it on Steam. Um, we got a code to, to play this from Pop Agenda, so I got access to the de 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 demo um be before it was out to the public but i guess me talking about it here now it's already the out for the public and stuff like that so a little bit late on that stuff uh but this is a small indie g g g g game it's black and white and it's a photography g game oh okay um, there's a lot of photography yeah, games a, nowadays it's a, it's a cute little photo game there there are there's starting to be a lot more of them um but this one starts you out in kind of this like uh, Game Boy style looking thing, uh, not in in terms of graphics, but of like the viewpoint, like of, of what you remember from the old Pokemon g -g 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 games. Like it starts you out in that, but you can turn the camera and stuff like that. So it is 3D. Um, but it's not like a free form camera like you would in like a full th 3D game. But, yeah, OK. Uh, you can pull up your camera and then it goes to a first person view like you're looking through the camera there. Yeah. Um, and it, it was neat. Uh, the de demo that I played was about an hour long uh, and it it is you are this young kid who's about to go on an adventure uh, to experience the phenomenon that is Toem. I okay. have no idea what that is it's, yet. It's just, um, they just want to experience Toem. Yeah, go, you know, you're about to go on your adventure to experience Toem. Mm -hmm. uh, so your mom gives you a camera, uh, you take a picture with your mom, and you're like, all right, peace, mom. <laughs> I'm uh, out. And then, yeah, I'm out of here. Uh, and then the whole thing is like to travel from city to city, you have to help people around the town to get enough stamps. And when you get enough stamps, you can take that to the bus station and they will give you a ticket for free. And then you can move on to the next uh, city and stuff like have that. They, have, they never, and, have they never heard of a bus ticket, you know? <laughs> I mean, and that's what you <laughs> use when when you get enough stamps, you get a bus ticket, which will take you to the next. Well, city. usually, usually you just buy a bus ticket, you know, no one, you know, no one's the, the rapid bus stations out like, hey, you got kid, go take some photos and then we'll give you a bus ticket. OK, there you go. But this game said, fuck capitalism. <laughs> uh, let's just do like a barter system thing here. Uh, so so, yeah, you just like you go around talking to people, helping them them out with their problems, whether that be taking pictures of certain things and showing mm -hmm. them the picture or uh, like I lost my sock. What happened to my sock? And then you have to like you, you might not be able to find it right away. But because you showed this one guy a certain picture, he now appears over here in this one thing. And when you go t talk to him there, he has this game that you can play and if you beat that game he's like hey so i found the sock what uh, and then you can go t t it, yeah there's there's Video all games. sorts of stuff Video like games. that right it's just yeah it's just like small quests of, of okay. like hey go go find this thing and take a picture of of that right. um and yeah you just go from city to city doing that uh but it was it was really f f f f fun like it wasn't difficult to the point where I was stumped on like what to take pictures of or stuff like that. Um, it had like the right amount of comedy and like things moved along fast enough that I was okay. like, OK, this is a good, good loop that I, that I, I want to continue playing. All right. Um, good. And yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it a lot. So I recommend going to check out Toem uh, on, on Steam. And, and again, shout out to Pop Agenda for giving Kyle a code early so he could play it. Thank you, Pop Agenda. It means a lot. 
Absolutely. Ignacio, you Absolutely. you've got a lot of you got a lot of games over here. Yeah. You you've talked yeah, I feel like you've talked a bit about intermission before. You got anything like new that's like really gonna stand out about the game? Oh yeah. Uh so the last time that I talked about intermission, I had just barely played it because <laughs> right that day, the day after Kakarot had come out. So Gino did most of the talking, but now yeah. I finished it. And man, I loved it. I loved it so much. It is exactly what I wanted out of DLC for Final Fantasy VII Remake. It is more than what I expected. I expected it to be a short experience. Whereas this one was a fairly meaty for a DLC. Like, I would say maybe 10 hours. Uh, it had some interesting additions. Like, we talked about it last week for Condor. How they remade yep. it for this one. Yep. But the real start of the DLC is Yuffie. Yuffie, as uh, we mentioned last time, she makes her appearance way later in the game. Or not way later, but after the events of 7 Remake, whereas here you're playing as her during the events of 7 Remake. Mm -hmm. And so I really liked how the, the DLC did what the original did for other secondary character characters, which is make us care about them, make them people, make yeah, like right, yeah. further develop it. And so Yuffie... You feel the original one was a part of the story, but she could be just you. You could even just never find her, never encounter, her, never yeah. add her to your team. So for this one, they are making you care about her story because her story is she is from Wu Tai. She is young. She's like seven, sixteen. But even since before then, she has had to fight in the war between Wu Tai and and Shen Shinran Midgar. And so the this DLC makes you see that, makes you see how that shapes her. And so, yeah, the other thing that I loved about it is that, like I said, this DLC took me like 10 hours. Mm -hmm. The original 7 remake took me, let's say, between 30 and 40. So between both, let's say 40 hours. Okay. That's 40 hours exploring Midgar. Which the original is more one substantial was, than the original ever got the original one yeah it took you like three four hours exploring yeah. Midgar. this one is 40 hours of exploring it of nice in so many different places and even in this one you see a different side of Midgar you that you didn't see before and so i love how they are fleshing out this place so 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 much and even chinra fleshing it out seeing other characters that you didn't experience much of on seven remake and so okay I loved it. And of course, the gameplay is great. Yeah. As great as the other one. Her gameplay is different from other, from the gameplay of the other characters from 7. Yeah. Remake. Well, yeah, because Yuffie's a bit, bit different. She doesn't, I mean, everyone, yeah, everyone's, she's a ninja. Everyone's, everyone's fairly unique. So, I mean, it makes sense that Yuffie's yeah. her own character. She's a ninja. And also, even having you, your companion, you cannot use him, but you can synergize with him, which right. is already a new, it's, it, makes you strategize differently okay and the last thing that i want to say is that it it does what seven remake does in which it messes up with the story of seven in interesting ways they yeah. it adds things that weren't there okay. there are some characters that are here that seem like a pretty big deal that are do not appear on the rest of seven so i do wonder what role they will play all right well ignacio I didn't play the DLC, and I'm not going to, so I'm really glad that you played it. I'm glad that you love it. That makes me happy. But sadly, Ignacio, you have no idea when part two of FF7 Remake comes out. Mm -hmm. But you know what? You know what? Uh, you know what comes? You know what also took forever to come out? Episode to Dragon Ball Z, because they extended those battles so long. What, what do you, what do you, why are you playing Kakarot again? That was a terrible transition. I'm so, I'm not Gino. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't know. I, was I the host or were you the host? I, I don't know. I just just to keep just to keep us going because I'm just yeah, I'm just curious. No, it's not that I'm still playing Kakarot. It is uh, Let it go. last time. Let it go. I just want to real quick talk about uh, the DLC, the Trunks DLC. I talked about when I talked about it, that I hadn't finished it. So real quick, I want to say that I got to play. I got to finish it, so I got to play the part that isn't a part of the show and okay. i gotta say it is great they did it so well they 
they took this couple of lines that were in the not not even the, in the original one they got added in super they took this couple of lines here and there and they made it a story for which you actually care about you care about the characters when you're going through it and i loved okay. it it that's awesome it had it has it was made with such a great quality the cut scenes the care for the attention it was so great it, it by far out of the three dlcs that we got the best one. it was the best one and it gives me hope that they learned from Kakarot and that they can make a game that's even better than Kakarot. All right. Maybe you'll get a Kakarot yeah. game that's covering the events of Super. Hopefully, Super. Like, GT, more, more, more Super, I mean, actually, but. Even Dragon Ball Original, when I would yeah, love uh, an original Dragon Ball. That'd game. be fun. So yeah, what yeah. we're really quick, I guess, to wrap up what we've been playing. What's this last game? I think I've heard of I've heard of streamers playing this one. Yeah, so Cal mentioned how we got a code from Papagenda for mm -hmm. Toem. We also got another code from them for Waybreak. So once again, thank you, Papagenda, yeah. for the code. Shout out to Papagenda. So, Waybreak, what it is, it, it is basically Tony Hawk, but instead of a skateboard, you're in a jet ski. Oh, I have seen a streamer play this. Yeah, it looks really, really silly. Mobius from the Loki sh show would love this. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, you're a jet skis? Yep. Hell yeah. <laughs> His mind will be blown. But yeah, it is that. It is, <laughs> it is Tony Hawk with a jet ski. I didn't get, to I didn't play it much. And uh, from what I played, uh, there are many elements that are similar to Tony Hawk where <laughs> you grind also, there are slopes. But it is the same movements as if you were playing Tony Hawk, but it also has the extra things of collect the words or, uh, do this one jump through this one window and do this one flip to finish the challenge and all this stuff. And also cool. one thing that they added to it that Tony Hawk doesn't have is that you have a gun. <laughs> I do not know for what, what reason you have a gun. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty substantial Yeah, Tony Hawk doesn't have this. This game has a gun. Yeah, you can shoot. <laughs> Are are there like yeah what other characters that you can like knock off the boat? Is that what you're doing? Like yeah, have you what? gotten to use what, the gun? So I, like yet? I know I know what guns are like for in games, but like what are you doing it in a Tony Hawk esque game? <laughs> so I've only played the first level because I don't know if it is because I'm not I haven't played a Tony Hawk game in a while, or or if it is because of the game. But the gameplay with it, I wasn't vibing. I, even I wasn't even managing to do things correctly, so I didn't mm. play much of it, only the first level. Okay. But yeah, I don't know, know why there is a gun that you can shoot. And well, it, that's it wild, is, though. Well, you, it, need, it is you need to play, one of the a, mechanics little that you have. It is, play a little bit more for next week and update us about the gun. So it is, you can jump, you can grind, you can shoot. it. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. A gun. And, you wow. know, Kyle, I will admit that that is not what I thought Ignacio was going to say. Of like, the one thing this game has that Tony Hawk does Neither is did I. I was not expecting the gun. Not at all. Was not, I was like, like, what could they add? Like, like Ignacio well, could have said, <laughs> Ignacio could have said almost anything else. And I would have been like, okay, yeah, that's different. But he goes, no, they got a gun. <laughs> what? <Yeah>. For <laughs> what? Well, wow. yeah, hopefully, Ignacio, okay. hopefully you play a little bit more because I really want to know what this gun's for. Yeah. Absolutely. So absolutely. But yeah. There you go. Um uh, I think that about wraps us up for what we've been playing. Uh mm -hmm. so we are going to take a quick break for housekeeping, uh, and then we will be right back. We put a lot of hard work into the shows that we make, and yes, we make multiple different shows here at the Whatnots, and we'd love it if you would check them all out. You can find out more information on our website at thewhatnots.com, as well as your favorite podcasting platform of choice. When you type in The Whatnots, all of our shows will pop up right there. Just don't forget to give us a nice rating and review if you like the shows. If you want to support what we do here at The Whatnots, patreon.com slash The Whatnots is the best place to do that. You can support us for as little as a dollar a month. You can get all kinds of exclusive content at the $3 tier. You can also get a shout out and thank you on all of our shows at the $5 tier. 
You can support us on Twitch by subscribing to our channel at twitch.tv slash the whatnots. And we would love to have you all join us for our live streams and talk with us in the chat. And lastly, we have merch. If you want to grab yourself a shirt or a sweatshirt or a mug or something else, go to the whatnots.com slash store to pick up some merch today. And we are back. Here we are doing our thing. Big shout out to our Patreon supporters at the $5 tier and above. So thank you, Sam, so much. We appreciate it. We love you a lot. Uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank, you. thank you, Sam. Thank you, thank, thank you. Ignacio, yep. I got my butt kicked in some trivia. I we don't know. I still, even though I beat you, I still feel like I've lost. I mean, I, I, you did, I, you, I but mean, you, you did and lose. I still did. Yeah, so yeah. we're kind of giving things away here. But we we did have a trivia night on the captain's log, which is uh, another podcast that we do here at the Whatnots. And it was myself and Melissa and Ignacio. Uh, and man, we had a blast. Yep. That was a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, so please go go check that one out. Uh, it is absolutely Worth it. Uh, you're just, that being you're, said. You're just lucky I wasn't there. I would have shown you how it's done. I would have I shown Melissa well, my trivia knowledge. Maybe if you were such a coward, well, you could have showed up. I didn't want to show you my final <laughs> form. That's all it was. I just, you know. Uh-huh. All right. Next sure. year, then. Yeah, ne- uh, yeah I'll, show, we, I'll show you what's up. We, we make our trivia night an annual thing, uh, so we will well, be back at it again next year. Enjoy your win, uh, Melissa, for the next year, because... Next year. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, with that, though, let's get into the news of the week. Bam. Bam. Here we go. OK. Oh, uh, you're going to do news? OK, you can do it. Do, do you want to do uh, it? We can we can trade it. Like, I, I, I want to do this first one at least. Sure. Go for uh, it. Let, yeah, let's Ellen do the whole thing. Wow. So yeah. we've got we There's got a couple much. we got a couple news stories mm-hmm. and this this first one I I'm really excited for this was the, my tease of what what I want is Dead Space coming back are we gonna need new pants soon again this comes from Joe Scrabbles over at the I this the little this little website you might not know it very much uh, IGN it kind of you know a little small potatoes um the Egan ga- <laughs> the Egan. Uh, Game Beat Jeff Grubb first teased that EA Motive was working on an a established ip which zero gamer has now corroborated in a subsequent stream grub said the game would be revealed on july 22nd at ea play alive and everyone is losing their collective minds of the return of dead space people yep. want there this series to come back like yeah kyle are are you gonna are you gonna man up and play dead space if it comes back <sighs> that's a tough one probably not come on i've never really p- played a dead space game before um i i think it was dead space 2 when when, when i first moved to college my roommate was a big pc gamer i think it was dead space 2 that he was playing uh but he wouldn't play the game unless all the lights on were, were on in the room and no. I was in the room w- w- with him. And so the, there was once that I, 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 I was was at my desk and he was playing it. Um, and then I think I got up to use the bathroom, but I mm. noticed he paused it. Oh. And then when I came back, he like he unpaused it. And I was like, Sung <laughs> did. Did 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 you just wait for me to go to the bathroom <laughs> to keep playing? And he was just like, "Yes." He's I'm like, scared. "Yes." <laughs> He's like, "I think I like, need you to be here." Well, yeah, maybe. He's like, I'm so scared. <laughs> well, so Ignacio, are yep. does this do anything for you, or do you just eh, it's Dead Space? Uh, so I never actually played Dead Space. I at wow. most played the demo for three back in the day, but yeah, I have never played it. Uh, I would be curious to see how it turns out, how them bringing him back turns out, because that's why 3 God. came out many years ago. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of the same eight. thing with me. Like, I, I'm, I'm probably not going to play it, but I'm, I'm interested to see what they do with it, 
because I know how beloved mm-hmm. this series yeah. is. So the game came out eight years ago, so I yeah. would be interested to wow. see yeah. what the excitement level for it would be if it were to come back. And also, uh, we cannot forget that there was a game announced by one of the creators of Dead Space, if I'm not mistaken, that it is pretty much a new Dead Space without being Dead Space. So seeing that come out against a, a real Dead Space, let's call it, mm-hmm. uh, would was, be interesting. Was that, the, um, was, was that the game that ended up being like, oh, this is in the PUBG universe? Is that the one I I'm thinking think about? think it is that one. No. Cause yeah, cause everyone thought it was gonna be a new Dead Space, and then it had some like cryptic name, and then yeah, so it was uh, like, oh yeah, this is gonna be in the PUBG. Universe. Yeah, so here I have an article from IGN with the header that says Dead Space creators new sci-fi horror, the Callisto Protocol, is set in the that was PUBG it. universe. Callisto Protocol. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So do you? So it, it would be interesting to see if. It come out against the a real dead space. So my my last sure. question about this article is: Do you guys think this is actually going to happen, or do you think we're just kind of getting our hopes up that maybe maybe this isn't true and dead space isn't coming back? Well, mm. I mean, I think dead space is probably their highest profile established IP that mm. could c- come back. They said it's not a Star Wars thing. Mm-hmm. The only other thing I could think of would be like NBA Street or some, sure. you, you, you know, some something like that. Uh, I, mean, I don't see a lot of know. fanfare over NBA Street, street coming back. I, I mean, dude, that would that would that would hit like that would be yeah. amazing. Any if, if any of the came street back, things. but oh, absolutely. Because that's probably just because yeah, I'm not in the I sports think... sports game atmosphere. I think Dead Space is there, like, if there's anything you bring back, it's, it's Dead this Space. one. All right. Yeah. Well, so we will find we, well, out in, let me, we will find let out me ask you in this. about a month. Hmm. Let me ask you this, because you're the one excited about it. What are you, if they were to bring this back, what would you be excited for in, in this game? Would you prefer it to be a reboot yeah or like a, a continuation of the story somehow I, some way i've, I've I thought know. i thought of this and because I, I played dead space one two and three i didn't really like three as much i i really love dead space one the most and then two's like almost tied with it because they're so atmospheric and scary three's a bit more of kind of like the more like shooty shooty game which i don't think works for dead space very much so i would i would really love to see kind of like a reimagining of Dead Space 1. Be- like, I don't want it to be a one-for-one one remake. I want it to be a reimagining where it's Dead Space 1, but they can, like, change some things. Like, change the structure of the ship. Change the jumps. Because if if it's just a one-for-one one and every jump scare is the same, it won't really work the same. So if you catch people off guard of, oh, this Nekomor- this this monster, this Nekomor is going to come over here. I know this. Oh, this is here. But if you change it just enough where things are different, right, yeah. that's going to instill a whole new fear in returning players. And I think that's what EA should do. Just do a reimagining I, of Dead Space 1. Because then you can appease people that aren't into the Dead Space atmosphere and be like, wow, this game slaps. And then you appease older players by switching by, because of their prior knowledge, it just messes them up. And I would, I would love, yeah. I'd love that. May, and maybe we'll yeah. get like a, maybe it could just be a simple thing of, hey, here's just a remastered pour of Dead Space 1 through 3 on on current gen consoles like that'll be a little lackluster but i mean at this point i feel like i want dead space back enough that i feel like i'll just kind of be like this is okay they should probably do that anyways yeah right to just be like Here's yeah a it's the safer move of, of, of that stuff but it's a, it'd be a good way to gauge um if people I, if it sells well it'll be a good way to gauge if they should continue dead space yeah so yeah that's that's a good good way to put that well that's Dead Space. We'll find out in EA Play who did want to be a part of the normal E3. They wanted to be a month out from E3. Yeah. But our second yeah, story July 22nd, is... but huh? well, real quick, it was yes. also announced this week that Xavier Woods would be hosting EA Play. Which is interesting <laughs> since the last couple of years they have gone with Greg Miller. Yeah, but Greg did but E3. Oh... Yeah, but he's also been hosting yeah. EA Play Live for 
the last so, year, like two or three years. But still, Xavier Woods, great host, would will absolutely. definitely be very exciting. Well, Ignacio stole my transition from me, so now I'm gonna just say it. Ah, uh, so bad. people, people were upset, man. And by people, I mean me and probably a lot of other people. Yeah. We did not get any PlayStation yeah. at E3. Granted, they weren't going to be there, but usually there's like a Sony state of play, and we didn't even they get that right announcement. Before it. We didn't even get that. So PlayStation yeah. Experience might be making a comeback this year, 2021. This is coming from Richard Boren at Game Rant. Many gamers i.e. me and Sony people were let down by the lack of PlayStation News at E3 2021. Though most believe that Sony will be holding an event of its own to make up for it, which I really hope they do. A new trademark filed by the company seems to support this theory, as it suggests that a new PlayStation Experience event is going to be held in the near future. This, um, yeah. uh, looking at it, uh, at the article itself, a big reason why PlayStation fans grew so attached to Sean Layden PlayStation Experience was essentially the brand's second E3 from 2014 to 2017, which during the time highlighted reveals such as Last of Us Part 2 during the 2016 keynote, as well as gameplay demonstrations for Uncharted 4. So people want this back. Ignacio, do we want PlayStation Experience to make its comeback debut? Eh, I don't know. Nah, wow, of course. That, nope, you know what, of Kyle? Of course, I wouldn't... Kyle, nah, you know I what? Back, of course. We still hope. Do you want it to come back? Ignacio wasn't excited. We don't need to hear the rest of him. <laughs> I am sure. excited. Yeah, I I, it's a I, joke. I I I like the state of plays that they've been doing. Um, but I I really enjoyed what Xbox did this year, where they had their their showcase at E3, mm-hmm. right? And it was just like game, 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 boom, 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 right? And then they had their like expanded thing, where it's like, okay, let's sit down with some of the developers and stuff like that, and take deeper d- d- dives mm-hmm. into into stuff. Um, but they still had a few news t- tidbits and things like that. And yeah, I, I think P- PlayStation could absolutely benefit from something like that, where it is like, hey, you've seen these things at our state of play. Is let's take some deeper looks into them. Let's talk with the developers. Let's talk with Jim Ryan. What did you mean when you said you want more c- cross play? Uh, in all of this stuff, but you're still charging for that more, stuff. More, but you know, first. yeah, right, yeah. Uh, they just want more of us. Uh, yeah. But yeah, like I, 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 I think it'd be a neat thing. But we also don't know if this is actually coming yep. back. Them, Not them, confirmed. just putting that trademark up just might be like, yeah, they want to keep the name just in ca- in case, in case they bring it back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, so, of course well, they have it. Eh? So they of course need that need that trademark, but it would be interesting if out of every year that they could have bring it back, it would be this year. Yeah, considering how the world is still. But yeah, but I they, think that things are also are... returning somewhat back to normal, so it would kind of make sense a little bit to yeah. start bringing it, like some stuff back. We also sure. do have that new Delta variant yeah. of the yeah. uh, stuff that is starting to. So yeah, I mean it's it's the. Things are still like, I don't know exactly what's happening. Yeah, so, I think it was still in the year. So, Ignacio, yeah. I, I switched to Kyle, but like, you, you elaborate on your thoughts of why, eh, maybe it shouldn't come back. Or, I'm excited. Uh, come but, on. Know. Do, you, do you not understand jokes, Alan? Hey, of course I'm, I'm excited. My Sony <laughs> fanboy, we take this personally, all right? We get, ex- we get excited. We want, we want the hype train to stay strong. We don't want this, eh. You Sony pony. <laughs> Of course, I'm excited. It, it, it like Kyle said, it, it would be like a second E3 for, oh. for I don't know. If you well, said. Sony. It would be like E3. a second. E, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. It would be like the first E3 now. But yeah, it it is always exciting seeing them put work into something that is a celebration of the brand, mm-hmm. a celebration of PlayStation. That's always nice. Yeah. And if we can get a a presentation out of it. The last presentations have been pretty good. We have gotten some pretty good announcements out of them. So, of course, I would love them to bring it back. Uh, as as to us not seeing them in e- at E3, I do think that they should do something pretty soon. And rumors are that they are going to do something pretty soon, but they are leaving Microsoft to just Eat gain more and more mindshare. 
I've, I've been seeing a lot of people like, like clamoring to like get an Xbox for because that that Game Pass deal is just the hot banana right now. Too good. Mm -hmm. And yes, I did just say hot so. banana. Uh, hot banana. But yeah, I I I mean, I'd be excited for this. I mean, I honestly, if they did something like this, or even just a state of play, because Sony does have some great games they could really benefit from sitting down doing deep dives. Like I would want to see a bit more of Horizon Forbidden West. I would definitely want to see a, an even deeper dive on Kina. They could do Elden Ring. Like they they've got a few games they could do deep dives on, and also just announce some like other massive profile games if they're ready mind you like if they're not ready then maybe this isn't the best time to do it but i would yeah. be excited but i guess yeah. as the sony we've, we've we've seen them do deep dives in state of plays yeah but like i mean like a, like a deeper Ghost like a deep like a deeper dive no, right they had like, one for a for a horizon yeah they did one for kina but they could just like they double did, up yes, on it and show they could show more of like Horizon though. What I'm trying to say yeah. is, yeah, we've seen that stuff in state of plays. However, I think their state of plays are better when they are more like a Nintendo yeah. direct. Yeah. Yeah. When they are just mm -hmm. more like, here's this game, okay, here's that game, here's you know a little bit of that game. And so yeah, if they do have something where they can take those deep dives and here's gameplay and here's how this mechanic works and yeah. stuff like that, then yeah, that would be good. Well, uh, keeping on brand with Sony a little bit of one of their games, uh, our next story is Ghost of Tsushima getting an expansion. Coming to us courtesy of Robert Ramsey. It's raw. Oh, wait, wrong Ramsey from Push Square. Uh, though no real evidence seems to support this, rumor has it. So grain of, grain of salt, people. Get your, get your salt shakers. Ghost of Tsushima, the excellent open world PlayStation 4 exclusive that launched last year is apparently getting a standalone expansion titled Ghosts of Ik, uh, Ikish, uh, Ikishima? Ikishima. 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 It'll supposedly take place on the Japanese islands of Iki, uh, which are south of Tsushima, just off the coast of mainland Japan. Word is that it's on track to launch this year. Ignacio? Ooh. You gonna... You, what, do, what, do, what, do, what are you thinking? Ghosts of Tsushima expansion? This this uh, year, this year it it could very well be this year if they indeed make an expansion. Let's not forget that Miles Morales got announced at around this time mm -hmm. of the year last year, and so they could very well announce an expansion to come out this year. It would be pretty exciting to see more out of the Ghost of Tsushima world. Absolutely. Uh, so an expansion would be very welcome. It is Sucker Punch, so Sucker Punch already has an experience mm -hmm. bringing or um, releasing expansions to their games. Second Sun has had First Light, or Infamous uh, 2 had Festival of Blood. Mm -hmm. So it would be in line with what they have done. And I would love to see more of Ghost of Tsushima pretty soon. Especially if it is yeah. in a different setting, if it is actually in Ikishima. Now, but would you rather have an ex like a DLC, or would you like? Do you want this, or would you rather have like a Ghost of Tsushima two though? Uh, of course, it would be better at Tsushima two, but I mean, we're probably still we can getting get... that. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're I, I probably getting don't that. see why we wouldn't be. Well, uh, yeah, Kyle, yeah, you, you next. But butt in there. You next to to butt in. Um, yeah, I I would love this. I loved that first oh, yeah. game, so we didn't really get like true dlc with that we did get that whole yep. multiplayer expansion and free by the way and uh, people have loved that mm. um and did that expansion was maybe not for me but mm -hmm. like like they they have put work in to that game and it is wonderful but and i believe they did like add me, i believe they also did add a new game plus feature to ghosts single player as well I believe they did yes. but yes for some for someone like me to have like a story mode expansion mm -hmm. or that like miles morales esque like 1.5 mm -hmm. type of thing yes this is chef's kiss so just the yes. and if indeed they have a state of play now this would be the best yeah. place to actually show it off oh yeah 
Mm -hmm. Now, now, Kyle, do you do, like both both of you? Like, if this is a real thing, do you think this actually comes out? Like, I know Ignacio said it could be. Like, do you do you honestly think this will come out this year? Mm. I think you could. I don't. You don't think so? I, see, I think Insomniac could have gotten Miles Morales like out the door because they probably did all the mocap like right before the hey, pandemic yeah. hit yeah, yeah this point. one i think would have been one of the things that would have been affected yeah by that that's a good point. so i don't know it, it would be amazing if if they got it all all done and and stuff like that but, but it, this this no. dlc could also very well come out as like that expansion near the beginning of next year and that would also work incredibly well as well because it's that's also a great time that games come out now as well so yeah, yeah. that would work well sticking on track with ghost of tsushima though uh an, an extension of that last story ghost of tsushima coming to pc not a sony exclusive anymore again robert ramsey from Perth square ah he's coming back again Sony has updated the retail box art for Ghost of Tsushima, sparking some speculation that the game could be heading to PC. The open world's title new box promotes Ghost of Tsushima Legends, the game's excellent co-op mode that was added in a free update. Hey! The new box also removes the only on PlayStation tagline that adorns the packaging of PlayStation exclusive releases. Previously, the only on PlayStation line was removed from both Horizon Zero Dawn and Days Gone. Two exclusive titles that were ported to PC. Given that Sony is very much open to moving some of the games over to PC, it wouldn't really be a shocker if we saw Ghost make the jump. Does Ghost come to PC? Is this enough of a speculation that it's true, Kyle? Yes. Only on PlayStation, not so. anymore. Uh, this rumor actually came up, I think, in like March. Uh, of this year that this would be one of the next ones yeah um and so yeah it's not surprising to see it come up again but then with what we just talked about like hey there's this other ghost of tsushima thing maybe in the works that might be coming out soon i think this would be a great move for playstation to be like hey PC players, here's another great reason to just buy a PlayStation 5 if you can get your hands on yep. on one, right? If, or I, I guess this if. might come out for PlayStation 4. I don't know the, the expansion Maybe. thing that they're they're doing. Who knows? But just be like, hey, this is this is a great time to come into the PlayStation uh like wheel wheel wheelhouse here uh to get excited for the next one. So Ignacio? It does. I, I does Ghost excite you coming to P if it comes to PC or do you, you don't uh, PC gaming is not I'm, real gaming. I'm not gonna play it in, on my <laughs> PC, so it doesn't do much for me. But I think that if that indeed happened, that they remote the only on PlayStation thing, and <laughs> that that it already happened twice, that that happened, and then the game came out on PC, it does seem like chances are it will come out on PC. Okay. It, for for these. For Sony to bring Ghost of Tsushima, it is a bit surprising to me because I thought that they would have been maybe a bit more conservative as to their releases on PC. Mm -hmm. They already had uh, Horizon this year, and then out of the leaked presentation that they had for shareholders not that long ago, they there it go got not announced, but it got shown that they are intending to bring Uncharted 4 to PC. That, so, that that's a that's a big one too to come to PC. That would be a big one, and Ghost is also a big one. Mm -hmm. The game came out last year, so that would be a, a very quick turnaround. So I think that if Ghost comes out on PC, which very surely looks like it will, and if Uncharted Four comes out on PC, which it also does seem that it will, it it does show you that Sony is very committed to it. But I. Do not think that it necessarily means that in the future every game will come did, day in day PS4, PS5, PC. Did you say Ghost right. came out last year? Yep, it did. Last year, like a, like a month before, uh, or no, a month after, after Last of Us, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I had it to was confirm Last that because like, for some reason July. I thought Ghost came out like not last year. No, no this was last year. year. This is a new game. Yeah. Wow. I yep. Man. That that pandemic year really just flipped me around. Yep. 
It really did. Wow. Yeah. See, I, I wanted to I wanted to add my own little thought to this once I got both stories out. I, I realistically could see so say the expansion comes out like say the end of this year, right? What if Sony re like did like the PS5 Ghost of Tsushima version, like like a like a deluxe edition or like the complete version that had the DLC mm -hmm. in it for PS5 owners, and then PC people just got the base PS4 version with no expansion or anything else to then be like, hey. You can get a PS5, you can get it on PC, cool, PS4 version, or you can get the PS5 version that's even better, loading looks somehow better, and has our full-on expansion, right? Like, that's how you really sweeten this I mean, package deal to be probably like, probably hey, about what it's going to yeah. be, because they, they wouldn't release that expansion on PC, PC. at the same yeah. time. I know, so like it, releasing the expansion it, it, with, like, a PS5 version of Ghost, though. It, it, that, that is what they do with Spider-Man. Yeah. The PS, if you bought the Miles Morales deluxe version, then you mm. got the Spider Man PS4, PS5 version. You cannot buy that one separately. So they could very well do that with Ghost. But I think that if they released Ghost of Tsushima on PC, it would be the best version of it. Yeah. Which that well, game already yeah. runs, I feel, incredibly well and looks beautiful. Like, I don't really. Obviously you can, but like if that game just is made even better, oh my god, dude, that would be incredible. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, that that was Crazy that was your there. news of of this week. It literally, as Ignacio said, rumors, rumors, rumors. Did we say rumors? Also chaos. Oh wait, nope, wrong joke. But that hey, spoiler alert. There's a few more rumors in our lightning oh, round and spoiler, stuff like that. So <laughs> more rumors and maybe chaos. Ah, stop combining jokes. We're gonna move on to the new and notable. Uh, whoever wants to take it, Kyle Ignacio. Oh, sure. I will take this one. Uh, Destroy All Humans is out on Switch July 29th. Uh, I know that is a fan favorite game. Uh, so be on the lookout for that one. Disgaea 6 Defiance of Destiny is also out on Switch July 29th. Uh, Doom Eternal gets its next gen upgrade uh, on June. Am I, am I writing these d down right that they're July and June? I think these are all supposed to be June. Oh, June? June, June? Tw 29th, not July 29th. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> And they're both they're both J, they're both J <laughs> months. They're both J months. I I understand. It would be it. weird if it were July. Normally, I just copy and paste, and I think I typed those ones out, and uh, oh. that's why I was like, "Oh, well, July is up next." There so you yeah, go. destroy all humans and Disgaea and Doom Eternal all June 29th, not July. June 29th. Yes. Yes. Uh, on top of that, uh, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus uh, is out on PlayStation Five, Xbox. Uh, PlayStation 4, Switch, and PC, June 30th. Ooh, baby. Uh, I, I still haven't played the original one. I have it on my laptop. I should probably go back and play that, but on Switch, seems like a great place to play that. I kind of know what oh. happens in that game, yep, so I'm wondering yeah. how they would mm -hmm. do that on a console? Yeah, because I know that they, there are parts of it that involve you going into the files. I yeah. Game. I will probably There's some weird will, things going on. I there. will probably buy this game, so I will I will play when it comes out, and I will try to let you guys know. Cool. Hey. Sounds good. Uh, and last but not least, Greedfall gets uh its next gen up up, up updates uh on June thirtieth as well. All right. So, there you go. That's it. No, you gotta say the line. New and, no line. new and notable is now old and noted <laughs> it is indeed <sighs> thank you well to the lightning round all right ignacio okay so first <laughs> up we got <laughs> i thought you were gonna say something else uh so first up we got cyberpunk 2077 is now back on the playstation store but interestingly enough sony does not recommend you to play it on a base PS4. Ooh, it's finally oh. back. It's finally back. Wow. 
it is it finally is. Back. You can finally buy it again. I know Xbox is also stopping their like refund policy yep. this next month with that. Mm-hmm. So man, when, when did when did this game get dropped from the PSN server? Wasn't it like the begin like January or something? It was before that, I think. Was Wasn't it? it December? Yeah, it was. It was like end of last year sometime because t- yeah. it was shortly after it came out mm-hmm. that it was man. just like it, it's that bad it's um, it's back it's i don't I'm think i'm still waiting up i'm i'm still waiting on the next gen yep. p- 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 patches uh to play that so yeah i don't here. i think i'm so far removed from it now that i don't think i'm gonna play it i still wanna yeah, play it it's I, still like i've said before it is a tale of two games the console game sucks but the pc game is game of the year material Mm -hmm. so i'm still interested in playing cyberpunk when it does get fixed just don't buy get a next version don't buy it on a base ps4 guys yeah don't do it it at your discretion so sony literally told you not to yeah they did tell you so if you do it is on you next up ea has acquired play demic the developers of cold golf clash from warner bros games and at&t there you go. I've never heard of them. Not so either. no, there yeah. you go. <laughs> but uh, con- con- I think good that job they are EA. like a mobile, like a mobile game developer. I think. Yeah. So there are rumors of Warner Bros. splitting up Warner Bros. games have been going on for a while. So this is not the True. studio that I was that I was expecting them to split up from them. Uh, next up, continuing the rumors train going. Subnet is hiring for a multiplayer game. No word yet on if it is a new IP, the next installment in a, an, ex- an existing franchise, a game mode to be added, or a game mode to be added at an existing game, etc. Rumors, yeah, baby. Insomniac is up to something. Yep. I'm, I'm kind of assuming there's going to be some kind of co-op mode in Spider-Man 2, but I don't know. It could. Could, I, I could see, sure I could see could. it though, almost kind of because you like missions where you could like with play two player Peter with like and Peter Miles. and Miles and whoever else they might add and whoever Spider Gwen. I don't, just, yeah, maybe they Venom. use the Dimensionator. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> mm-hmm. Abandoned, the upcoming cryptic survival horror game from Blue Box Studios still is not a Silent Hills, nor it is a Kojima game. So the abandoned saga continues. <sighs> so if you do, I... if you do not know, abandoned is a PlayStation exclusive horror game that people were speculating that it was secretly a Kojima game and a Silent Hills game. And if you look at the dots, they connect pretty well. But uh, yeah, the developer or one of the developers they had, uh, one of the head people came out saying that it is not a Kojima game. But still, it doesn't help that, it, once again, the evidence out there, it is pretty curious how much it connects to Kojima. Even to yeah. the, the... They announced an, a demo app, which already sounds like a Kojima thing to do, but they delayed that one now, since they were fixing some stuff. And, but this, this I think that the, the map that it... Yeah, the map that it comes out, it also has something to do with one of the Kojima games. I do not remember well, so. There have been all sorts of things that people have their tinfoil hats on and they're trying to connect the dots and the developers are getting out there being like, no, this isn't Silent Hills, we're not Kojima, we're not connected to him. And I... I, I can't blame them but there are there are some things that are adding to the speculation that they are doing that it's just like well you're also not really helping things but then there's there's stuff like hey buy i I think they're a studio in sweden if i'm not mistaken uh but the country they're 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 in apparently has laws that like hey if you want to have a company here like you you need to register this and that. And so you can't really fake your identity and all this stuff. So it's like, well, it's obviously not Kojima. Like this, these developers are real people and they <laughs> exist. 
and they're making their own game. And so on one hand, it sucks for them that this keeps happening. Uh, but the other this, they, they're getting a lot of publicity. They're getting a lot of publicity, but it's not for their it's not for their game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is the thing though. That that really sucks. So who knows? We'll see when that game finally comes out. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that this will not stop the rumors. Oh no. The rumor not mill at all. going. Rumors all. and chaos. Rumors and chaos indeed will I say never we be kill chaos. chaos. We should we kill will chaos. never be able to kill chaos. <laughs> yeah. we'll never have. Uh, the last news story that we have here is Square Enix is now co-developing a Final Fantasy IX an- animated series. All right, I, yeah. Kind of, it kind of makes Final me Fantasy want to play 9. the FF9 game now. Mm. I, yeah. I I don't know much about this one. Who they're developing it with? This is just something I scrolled by, and I was like, oh. Some some p- p- people might like to know about this one. Kyle so. saw it and he was like, neat. 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 <laughs> and moved on. <laughs> and that was it. And that, yeah, that exactly. <laughs> and that's your that's that's your that's your crossplay news show for for this week. Rumors. There you go. Rumors and rumors, and I guess rumors and some more rumors, maybe. There you go, yep. indeed. Uh Ignacio, let's start with you. What are you excited for this week? What are you hoping to get into? Uh, I'm excited that I'm I'm now ending my classes. This semester is now ending, so I'm excited for a starting vacation. There you go. Play a lot of games. Yeah, vacation is good. Speaking of vacation, uh, I announced it on on the captain's log, but I've not mentioned it here. I'm going to be going on vacation uh, in July. I will be there's going to be three weekends that I'm not going to be available to record on podcast and stuff. You're not allowed to go. Uh, You're not allowed to go. I, well, fuck you. I'm <laughs> leaving. So <laughs> too bad, suckers. Uh, no, it's this is a really cool thing for me because i have been on literally everything that we as the whatnots have put out except for two things um there's been two other things that i've been like a producer on where i've been like recording it but i'm usually not like speaking on it so i've been on everything that we've made uh and i'm super proud of what we've made here at cross play uh and Gino and Gino and Alan and Ignacio, you guys are going to be holding the fort down, and I'm super excited about that. I can just be like, take it away, and I'm going to go relax. Well, I guess I got to give the bad news. I might not be here next weekend because, well, we'll, we'll get to it. I'll still be here next week. But uh, yeah, this is until mid-July. Uh, I, I, I leave on the 16th. So Oh, I guess uh, I, I'm going on vacation that same time. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, you're not allowed. You're not allowed no, to. We, fuck we would, you, uh, I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> if, if something like that was to be the case, we'd figure it out. I know. But uh, yeah, dude, I'm 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 stoked though. That's what I'm looking forward to down the road. But I still also have to get into Final Fantasy Intermission. So get on it, do that. And there's a new Gundam movie c- c- coming out, and I'm super excited about that. Of so course. I've been like rewatching some 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 stuff there. Gundam Hathaway, of course. stoked. It's gonna be great. Of course, Alan. Me. What are you excited about? <laughs> I- <laughs> Well, I am not excited for the new Gundam movie, but I'm excited for you, Kyle. Um, well, fuck you! I'm watching it anyways. <laughs> fuck you! I'm watching it anyways. Um, I I am excited to play Scarlet Nexus all this week. I'm sorry to all my other games in my backlog. I'm sorry to every other game I'm supposed to be playing or anything else. I won't play Scarlet Nexus, so I'm gonna look at all my other games and say, "Fuck you!" I'm playing Scarlet Nexus, and I'm excited because I might not be here next weekend because next weekend is July Fourth weekend. And I'm going to spend July 4th doing the most American thing in the world, going to play a Digimon America. card game tournament on Saturday. <laughs> America. 
Nothing says America like Digimon. Digimon. That's right. <laughs> that's right. It only takes place in Japan. It's the most American thing. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm excited for. That's games. Hopefully I get out of my funk and I sit down and I finally be a real freaking gamer for once. There you go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, Ignacio, where can the people find you on the internet? There you go. And Alan, where can they find you? Oh, you can find me at the uh, the two little websites of Twitter. Um, I'm at Alan Busby, and you could watch me play games on Twitch when I don't lose power at uh, twitch.tv slash AzurePKK, where I play games and hopefully don't lose power. There you go. I have the power. <gasps> I have the power! Right? Yeah? No? Okay. Uh, <laughs> if you guys want to stay with a uh, higher up to voice. date with me... Uh, yeah, if, 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 if you guys want to stay up to date with me and all the dumb, stupid stuff that I do, uh, I'm at Yo Kyle Springer on Twitter. If you guys want to stay up to date with all of the things that we do here at The Whatnots, we are on Twitter at The Whatnots. Uh, so go like, share, subscribe. You guys know all the things with that. But that's it. This was a nice short one this week. It was good. I liked that. Uh, but we will see you all next week. Uh, I guess that is it for this one. Peace. Bye. Hot, but hot banana.